I'm Mark Paris, and this is the Logitech MX Master. While this is supposed to be another iteration of the previous very popular MX Performance, this seems like a totally new device. The look, design, style, and features are completely different and better for the most part. Logitech took everything that was on the previous Performance and built off of that. This includes the same great scrolling wheel, side button, and thumb rest button. However, there are many improvements lurking behind. First, the scroll wheel is very different. You can either use the button to change between ratchet and free flow mode, just as before, or you just have to scroll fast. That's right, you just scroll fast and it automatically enters free flow mode. By far one of the best features is the side scrolling wheel, which is favored by all video makers like myself. One of the biggest disappointments and the thing I wish the performance had was a side scrolling wheel. It was just simply awful pushing the wheel sideways to move. Now we have an amazing scrolling wheel that makes editing videos a complete breeze. We gave this mouse to our video editing team and they loved it. The wheel was the best feature of the mouse and improved workflow greatly. Unfortunately, Logitech had to get rid of the zoom button in favor of the scrolling wheel. Because I use a 27 inch display, it's hard to read text at times. That's why I love the zoom button so much. All I had to do was hold down the zoom button and scroll. Now I have to use a key on my keyboard and scroll. While it's not the end of the world with this, it's something I wish they would have kept. I really do miss that. Another thing that was different for me was the left and right buttons. They're not nearly as big as before and they're a little harder to hit. At the beginning, I had to work to make sure I didn't hit the scroll wheel. After a while, I was able to push them without looking. Finally, the thumb rest button moved forward a little more. I'm used to clicking far at the back, but now I have to click more forward. On the bottom is the usual sensor and on off button. However, it is a really great new feature. Those numbers signify computers that the mouse is connected to. Because this is Bluetooth, you can connect it to up to three computers at once. This makes it super easy to change which computer you're controlling, something I could have used many times before. The design of the master is simply stunning. The gold match with dark gray looks awesome. The cool shapes on the sides also add a nice touch. While some didn't like the plastic of the performance, I liked it and it felt good in my hand. Now, the wrap around the master is a little too sticky for me. However, it's not that bad. The thing that I love about the MX line is a level of customization. You can edit the actions of every single button using the Logitech Options app. You can pick from a wide range of actions and even execute keyboard commands. That means you can put meaning into that ratchet locker that is pretty much useless thanks to the new Smart Shift scrolling wheel. Should you get the mouse? It depends on what you're using it for. If you're a photo or video editor, this is a must have. However, if you don't really need the side scrolling wheel and Bluetooth, you might be better off going with the MX Performance, as it still has some great features and costs $50 less. Well, that's pretty much it. Other than some minor connection issues, jitter after changing settings, and having Bluetooth Assistant app opening every now and then, for some odd reason, I absolutely love this mouse and is great. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks for watching. This is Mark with IELTS Tech 128.